All right, today we're gonna get started on a new series. It's gonna be a weekly thing, uh, and it's gonna have to do with joinery. So each week we're gonna uh, experiment with a new joint. We're gonna show you how it's done, and uh, put one together, talk about it a little bit. So first joint we're getting into is going to be the half lap. So let's get into it. All right, let's talk about the first joint, which is a half lap. And that is where you want two pieces to intersect by them coming over each other. In such a way that they fit on top of each other. So first, we're just going to get our scribe. And we're gonna scribe a line. Then we're gonna bring our piece that we're gonna use up on the board. And we're gonna use that as our reference. And we're gonna scribe the other side. So now we have our two lines. And wouldn't you know it, I happen to have this neat little tool to help me find where half is. Now, half only works if your board is f flat on both sides. And we're gonna continue our scribe line by finding our spot with our knife, bringing the square over, and we're gonna bring our line down so we know how far to go. Nice thing about using a scribe knife is one is it preps the material by scoring the surface, meaning your blade will catch a little easier. But on top of that, <clears throat> when you are trying to realign your, your straight edge or your square or whatever it is you're using, all you have to do is put the tip of the knife in and you can always realign versus having to sight it with a... <clears throat> As opposed to having to sight it with a... Jesus, words, as opposed to having sight a line. Man, that one's not going in there for sure. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to come in on our scribe and we're gonna tap our way across just a little. All right, so we've got all our lines scribed on there. What we're doing now is we're paring away into it. So we took our chisel and we hammered out all along our scribe line. And now we're just in a real easy way. We're gonna pare into that edge. And what this does is it gives our saw a, a guide. So we don't have to worry about it uh, <clears throat> wondering. Okie dokie, now we can start cutting. So I am looking over each edge as I'm cutting. And once I touch both pencil marks on each side, we'll move on to the next side. Doing it like this, everything tracks really well. Your cuts are really nice and straight. All right, so our cuts are looking nice and clean. So next step is to prevent the lines. All right, well, I apologize for that. I didn't realize that my lighting had switched on me. So the next step is the chisel. Now there are a lot of different ways you could go about doing this. Um, you could saw through with your handsaw, cutting a whole bunch of little curves and then break them off. For this one, we're just going to chisel it off in little sections. So we're gonna start at the top of the cut 
and we're going to work our way down. But we're not going to go all the way down. We're going to stop a little short um, so that we're not blowing it out the end on the other side below the line. We'll turn it over and we'll come to our line. So first, we're going to mark our line. Okay, now we can just take off some big old chunks. Turn it over now to make sure that we get our line cut. All right, and so we've gotten down to our last little bit and this is where we're going to come in and start working just a little bit slower, not taking off real large amounts. So we don't want to overshoot. So now we have one flat surface. Now we need to mark our other surface. So we're going to see how it's fitting, which Right now, it's a little snug. Let's get everything lined up. Squished into place where we want it. And once again, we're gonna use our scribing knife and we are going to scribe around where the board sits. Now we have all our pieces again. Now we've got our two pieces. Let's see how they fit. All right. So there you have it. That is a half lap. Um, one of the other ways you can go about doing this is on the table saw. Measuring your cuts, clearing out the material, 